Hi guys, I'm Ashutosh and today I'm back with another tutorial on Master Portfolio. So few weeks back, I've created a video on best open source portfolio templates for software developers. And many people requested that I should make a video on how to customize those portfolios to create your own portfolios. Uh, so here I am and I will create a tutorial series for each of those portfolios which I have mentioned in that video. If you want to take a look at that video, I have given a link of that video in the description box below. You can go and check out that first. So today I am starting to create a video series on customizing master portfolio first, which is also my own portfolio template, which I have, which I have contributed to GitHub. So you can also go and check out that on GitHub. I have also given the link of this, this GitHub repository in the description box below. And this, this is not going to be a single video on customization. I will drop a series of videos which will walk you through customizing this portfolio template completely like 100% and at the end of this video tutorial series, you will be able to customize this uh, portfolio template like 100% you will be able to customize the images you will be able to customize the buttons and also you will be able to build this kind of pretty logo in the sub splash of your screen on your own so let's get started so first of all just go to the github repository which i have given in the uh, description box and copy the github url to clone will we'll clone this project in, into our local so i will run a command git clone and just paste that link which we have copied so we have cloned our project open a visual studio code and open the folder where you have cloned your project now we are going to customize our uh, this portfolio template to create our own portfolio so first of all, what we'll do is we will first try to run this portfolio template in our local in our local system. So for that, first create uh, first open up the terminal and type a command npm install. It will install all the re required dependencies to run this project. So after npm install is complete, you can see uh, a folder is getting created named node modules. It will have all the related de required dependencies to run this project. Now if I want to run my project, I'll just type npm start. It will open up new browser window in my browser and it will show the project and you can also see the URL as localhost 3000 and we have successfully launched our portfolio into the local system. Now we are going to customize this and for that uh, in, in this video we are going to customize the first page that is home page. So the first step in uh, if you want to customize master portfolio is to you have to go into SRC and in SRC you will find a file name portfolio.js. So in most of the cases in 90% of the time if you want to customize master portfolio you have to change in this file how i will tell you so first uh, we have a like you have to follow the instructions as given in the comments in this file so first is website related settings so there is only one setting uh, is splash true so what it means is that whenever you are loading your website you will get this first splash screen in your website first and after that your home page will load but if you see splash screen contains my name that is Ashutosh Hathizara but but you don't want to keep my name in your splash screen right so as of now till we get to the last tutorial and you, uh, you understand how to create that that kind of animated logo till then if you want to remove it the splash screen what you have to do so you have you just have need to make this is splash flag as false and you are done so from now on when you go and just query only localhost 3000 you will directly get the home page and not the splash screen so now coming on to the home page we have some objects where you can edit your information so the first thing is title title is your name so whatever names which you are seeing here so the name here 
so the name here as well as the name here they both are taken from this file from the title so here we'll keep John Doe now what is logo name so logo name is the is the name which you can see here so here you can see that uh, we have a like kind of a very stylish hand lettered text here so if you want to, if you want to change that you have to, you, you you can change this text so this text uh, i will change to john doe and let's see how it looks yeah it looks fine if you want to remove the space uh, or if you want to add any other name you can add that as well now there is a nickname uh, which is given as this one in my portfolio so it is like kind of a like secondary name which, which you keep like normally coders do or when they code on different websites like hacker rank or code forces they, they give some stylish name like this one so i have kept this name as that kind of name but if you don't have you can remove this or you can leave it blank so it won't come into the portfolio a subtitle is this text which uh, which is given here so if you want to change the text you can you can change this text and the text will be changed resume link so if you go to the portfolio and if you go to the contact page we have a here a button for going to the resume so if you click on this button it will redirect you to the google drive where i have saved my resume so if you, if you want to change the url or the link of that resume you can go that uh, uh, go to this this particular position in the portfolio.js file and you can change this url to get to put your own resume link portfolio repository so here here if you can see in the home page i have given a button on uh, star me on github so you can edit uh, this link as well by replacing your link with the link of master portfolio and now the button will have your own link and not my link now coming on to social media so if you so if you see on the home page we have some social media icons here also if you go into contact page we are we have the same social media icons here as well so if you change the links for social media icons in this in this object of this file then it will get changed all the social media icons in, in the comp in whole portfolio wherever they are appearing so it's very customizable that uh, that uh, let's say uh, if you don't have a github profile or let's say you have don't have a youtube channel and you want to remove this section uh, the, or that icon for youtube you can directly remove this object and that icon for youtube will disappear from your portfolio so it's very customizable in that case also if you just want to uh, so also if you just want to add a new icon let's say you want to add an icon for behance or dribble so what you have to do is you have to go to, go to this font or some website go to the font or some website you can copy this link from the comment of icon which i have mentioned already so you can go to the website after copying that link here what you can do is you can mention the icon name which you are searching for so i am searching for behance and and you can see we have got two icons let's say i want to uh, i want to take this icon so it will show me the name of that icon so the name of this icon is f a f a behance square so here in the html tag you can see what is the icon name of this particular icon so it's f a hyphen behance hyphen square so i'll go into the so i'll go into my portfolio template and let's say i want to keep this in the second position so i will add another object here i will give the name as behance you can give link to your behance profile here which i copied uh, uh, directly and you can also give font awesome icon so here we are giving 
एफ ए बिहेंस स्क्वायर एस क्यू यू ए आर ई स्क्वायर एंड द बैकग्राउंड कलर सो हाउ वुड यू नो द लाइक वॉच वॉट बैकग्राउंड कलर यू हैव टू गिव फॉर द पर्टिकुलर आइकन सो आई हैव ऑल्सो गिवन अ लिंक फॉर दैट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड सिंप्लीफाई आइकन्स सो यू कैन कॉपी दिस यू आर एल फ्रॉम यू कैन गो यू कैन गो टू यूर ब्राउजर एंड यू कैन सर्च ऑन दिस लिंक एंड यू विल गेट दिस सिंपली आइकन सो इट विल हैव द एक्जेटिसमल कलर कोड फॉर all the brands which you can see here so just type for behance here and it will give you the color code so just copy this color code come back to your visual studio code and paste it here so you have to give background color and copy and the paste the color code which you have copied and just save this file and now if you go to your browser and if you see your portfolio you can see that your behance icon has been added so if you click on that icon it will redirect you into the new window into onto your behance profile so that is about social media icons also after the introduction we also have our skills section so what i do section basically so in here i have mentioned the four sections like data science and ai and full stack development and cloud infra architecture and ui ux design so but let's say you want to rip, like you want to change any of these sentences or you want to change the, any of these icons or you uh, want to remove this this complete section of data science and ai how can you do that so you can do that so here uh, we have a object called skills in which we have different sections in the data so in the data data is an json array in which each of the json object inside this json array is a section so what i mean by section is data science and ai is a section and full stack development is a section and so on so each of the section is a json object in this json array so if you see the first object we have title as data science and ai so if you want to change the title this title then you can change this text in this title tab file name is data science image so this file name is related to this image which we have in this uh, in the left side of data science and ai but as of now we are, we have made this one non customizable because we uh, if you don't know I, I let me tell you that uh, this master portfolio contains different themes so as of now this uh, the theme of the portfolio is blue so that's why you are seeing the images as well as the text and everything as blue but if you want to change if you want to change you can change by just giving the the color or the theme name and you can change the complete portfolio template so as of now this images are not not changeable because we are changing the image colors based on the theme that a user is changing but uh, I will explain you how you can change or this images at the end of this video tutorial series. But as of now, you can skip this this particular field for customization. After that, we come to skills. So skills is this this three lines, this three sentences that I have written in, in this section, and you can change these three sentences, or you can add your own sentences, or you can add or remove. the sentences here so here you can see i have three sentences you can add more sentences or you can remove any of these sentences if you want after that we have a field called software skills and the software skill is kind of a this icons that we are seeing here so here we have like four icons that is tensorflow keras pytorch and python so here what you have to do is you have to define the name of the icon which will uh, which is going to be displayed when you hover over it so let's say i uh, i hover over it so it is uh, showing me tensorflow i hover over it, this one it is showing me keras so whatever name you want to display on hover on that icon you have to dis, uh, you have to mention that in the skill name after that you have to mention the font or some class name so here font on some font or some class name is the logo tensorflow but it is not same as the icons that we have given for our social media 
it is different than that so this icons are for uh, using iconify internally and the social media icons for using font awesome internally so for iconify i have given the link in the description box below so you can go and search for your uh, the icon name that you want so iconify dot design and if you want to let's say search for keras so search for keras and give enter so it will it will give you the icons for keras you can click on any of it and you can see what icon name it is giving so for keras it is showing me simple icon keras you can see here on the top heading or you can see in the html text which is written here for tensorflow if you search tensorflow it is showing me these three icons i can click on any one of them and it, it will show me logos tensorflow you can mention style for that particular icon so let's say we have this tensorflow logo which is already colored so we don't want to give any style to it so that's why we are we have kept it as background color transparent but the keras uh, but the keras logo if we go to keras so the keras logos are both not colored so I, I, I have to define i want to define the background color for this logo so if i want to define it you can define background color as white and the color of the logo as the color of that particular brand and the brand color if you want to get you can go, go into simple icons and you can search for keras so it will give you the particular hex color code so like that you can change your icons skill name and skill heading the similarly we have objects for full stack development and cloud infra architecture and ui ux design and in the footer also if you can see automatically the name has changed from ashutosh shathidra to john doe as we have changed the title in our greetings it has changed here as well as here so we have successfully customized the first page of the portfolio and here first video comes to an end so that's it for today guys i i hope you enjoyed the video and you learned something new uh, like share and comment on the video and subscribe to my youtube channel uh, you can also support me on patreon.com i have given the link in the description box below if you have any questions uh, i can answer you questions or if you want to have a one on one meeting with me or if you want to include me uh, in your project then you can take any memberships on my patreon page the link is given in the description box below i'll be back with another tutorial next weekend till then stay safe